Hello everyone, this is Western New York Fly Guy. Today we are going to be tying the egg sucking leech. Now this is a great pattern for brown trout and steelhead when they come into the stream. And you can tie this pattern in black, purple, or white. And um, you can do it in a variety of different heads. So this head is a chartreuse head. You can do it in hot pink or uh, fluorescent orange. And you can do it with these nice little beads or you can do it with uh, some chenille or egg yarn. So the materials you'll need for this pattern are thread and the corresponding color. I'm going to tie a black one here. Uh, I'm going to be using some lead wire in a 25 thousandth size. And of course you're going to need a zonker strip. So we're going to start this fly out by starting up and tying back towards the bend of the hook. And nip off this tag end. You start by tying your wire in. So I cut a piece of wire here and I folded it in half. So we will start on the one side. You're tying the, the wire on the side of the hook, not the top or bottom, but the side. And then you take that folded area and you fold it to the other side of the hook. So I started on the, on the back side for me, front side from the camera view. So I fold it down on the other side, give it a little bit of a body and make sure that's tied down good and tight. So that's what it should look like from the top view when you're all finished with that. You can tie your, put your thread towards the back of the hook here. Now you're going to take your zonker and you want to make yourself a tail. And you got you got to separate these fibers here. And the tail should be about one and a half the length of the shank of your hook. And you can always make the tail a little long and then cut it off later. But so I licked the licked the back fibers here so I can get them to lay down nice. You wet your fingers, you wet the front ones just a little bit. You tie that down with a few wraps. You don't want to make it too much now, but you do want to tie it down good and tight. Alright, now move those fibers back, pull the zonker strip back, and work your thread back towards the front of the hook. And I do a little half hitch up here so my thread doesn't go anywhere. Now you're going to take that zonker strip and start to palomar it forward, making sure you're pulling your your fibers back and out as you go. You can use a dubbing brush to make sure you get it all back, but a nice even wrap towards the front. And then once you get to the front, separate out the fibers that you don't want. Tie that down good and tight. Nip the end of the zonker strip off. You can see you got a little nub. Got a little nub right there. And you can get your thread right on top of that and adjust your bead as such and it'll go right underneath the bead. Then all you gotta do is whip finish and you're done. It's as simple as that. Now that'll stream down nicely. You can swing these or dead drift them. Thanks everyone for watching and tight lines.